All right, now in this video, we'll see the first objective of this environment, which is latching and unlatching this conveyor using this control panel button start and stop. Okay, the objective is if I press start once and I release it, this is a push button. So if I press it and release it, this should be latched. This, this conveyor should keep on running. And if I press stop, this should be stopped. All right, this is the main objective, very simple. So how we have to do that? Now for the addressing, if you have she, if you have seen the PDF file, the start is i colon 0 slash 12. This is linked to my 12th input of the PLC. All right, so I'll take a rung here. Now I'll take the bit. This will be tagged with the address of start button. So I'll write i colon 0 slash 12, press enter. So just to memorize what is this input, I'll put the symbol as start. All right, so this is start. If I need to make some space, I'll minimize that one. Yeah, that's okay. Now with that, I need to, I need this output should be keep on running. It should be latched. Okay, so if you're not uh, familiar with the term latch, let's just have single output only. Let's just do it without the latching. So here I'm going to add the address of actuator zero which is my O colon zero slash zero. Okay. And here I'll write actuator zero. Okay. So let's just see this example as of now. I'll download. I'll save. Okay, I need to save with a new file. I'll write as one. And our program is being downloaded in the PLC. Run mode, online mode. Okay, so the program is downloaded. Now if you see here, this is my data logic and this is my start button. So the moment I press this one, you see this gets on, which solves the logic, turns on the output, which turns on the actuator zero. Like that, okay? So it's a push button. Right now I have pressed the button. If I release, it will be off. If you press, it will be on. If you release, it will be off. So this is the simple on-off operation, okay? But we need to latch the output. We need to latch the output in such a way that if I release this switch, it should keep on running. All right, can be any of your example. So I'll go to offline. Okay, now to latch the output in Ellen Bradley, what we have to do is just click on this contact, click on this rung branch once. Okay, you'll find something like that. And then you just drag this leg of this parallel rung over here. Make sure this is green and drop it. Okay, now you have a parallel rung. Here you have to add the contact of O colon zero slash zero. Okay, like this. This should have the same address of this one. So the shortcut is you can drag the address like that. This makes it latching. All right, let's just try that one. Download. And let's see the results. Okay, now this is off, so this is off and everything is off. So once I press this button, start button from here this will be on which will turn on the output and this is the same address of this one so this will also be on which will provide a parallel loop to this parallel signal to this output so this will be last have a look I'll just press it once and release output will remain on because of this parallel rung okay this is called latching so the main objective was to unlatch it using the stop switch here okay so for that we have to make some changes in our logic. We have to use the stop button address as well to stop the outputs. So let me just make it back to manual, clear the environment, go offline. Now the stop switch, the address of the stop is 13. Okay, this is 12 and the next to that one is 13. So this is NC switch here in the field. This is NC. So currently, if you see the status of the PLC, let me show you the status. Hold on. I'll go to online. And this is the input. If you see, this is 13. This is already on. Because this is my NC. This is my NC. It's already giving signal to my PLC. If I press it, it will be off. You can see that. I'm pressing this one, the switch, and the status is off. If I release it, this will be on. So we have to take care of that because this is an NC. Okay. Similarly, this is an NC. This is 15. The moment I press it, it will be 0. If I release, it will be on. But in case of NO, this is NO. You can see that this is 14. When I press it, it will be 1. If I release it, it will be 0. 
If you notice this one, when I press the switch, it will be on. If I release, it will be zero. But in case of NC, that's the opposite. Okay. So to unlatch the circuit, to unlatch the circuit, what we have to do is let me go to offline. You can only edit this program when you are in the offline mode, not in the online. Okay. So this is latched. To unlatch that, we have to use a bit of my NC switch. So that should be NO. Okay. This should be NO. This is 13. So we'll make it I colon 0 slash 13. I'll make the same as a stop. Now why this is NO here? Because generally when you do relay logics, you put NC to unlatch something. But here we are using a field device switch which is already NC which has activated the input 13. Okay, when you press this one, this will turn off this 13, which will unlatch the circuit. Let me show you the live example. Download the logic. Go to auto mode. And then you will understand. See, this is already on. This is on because this is NC switch, already giving signal to I calling 0 slash 13 of PLC. If I press this, this will be off. Okay. That's why we used NO contact here. If we will have to use, if the objective is to stop the conveyor using reset, which is NO, we have to use NC here. But if this NC is in the field device, we have to use NO here, just in the case of unlatching the output. Now have a look, when I press the start, it will start the output. Output is latched, this is already on. If I press stop, it will unlatch, because this breaks the signal. Let's try again. With start, output is on. With stop, output will be off, like that. I hope that makes sense. It's pretty easy, simple, latch and unlatch objective. Stop and start, okay? So this was how you can do latching and latching using parallel input and using NC switch here. Contact of NC switch. That was about the first basic lesson, how to latch the output using start and stop button. All right, if you have any question, give me a comment. I'll get back to you. Thank you.